Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Varma and today we are going to learn GSM architecture. GSM architecture is a very complex topic but to make this topic easy we are going to use some simple diagrams. I am taking a diagram in which there are three mobile stations which are further connected to a tower and these towers are connected to BTS using TRX then further it is connected to BSC and MSC now what is MS MS is nothing but the mobile station so there are three mobile stations in this diagram MS comprises user equipment and software needed for communication with the mobile network MS is the combination of mobile equipment which you use or you say the handset plus the SIM card which is inserted inside the mobile phone. So multiple mobile stations are connected to a single tower. Now this tower is connected to the BTS via TRX. TRX is the transceiver. Transceiver is the combination of transmitter and receiver in a single package. TRX can perform two operations. One is sending and one is receiving. Now the BTS. BTS is base transceiver station which facilitates wireless communication between user equipment and a network. Every tower is having a BTS. Next is the BSC. BSC is the base station controller. A BSC can have multiple BTS. BSC you can assume as a local exchange of your area which can have multiple towers and every tower is having the multiple BTS. So a BSC can have the multiple BTS. The heart of mobile communication is the MSC. MSC stands for Mobile Switching Center. MSC is associated with communication switching functions such as call setup, release and the routing. Call flow, call routing, call tracing, call recording, all the functions can be performed at the MSC level. MSC is having further components just like VLR, HLR, AUC, EAR, OMC and PSTN. First one is the VLR. VLR is the Visitor Location Register. VLR is a database which contains the exact location of all mobile subscribers currently present in the service area of MSC. If you are going from one state to another state, then your entry is marked in the database of VLR. Next one is the HLR. HLR is the home location register. HLR is a database containing pertinent data regarding subscriber authorized to use a GSM network. If you are going to purchase a SIM, from a specific area then your entry is marked in the database of HLR. This HLR is like your home which contain all your information like your ID proofs, which plan you are taking, which color tune you are using etc. Then is the OMC Operation Maintenance Center. OMC monitor and maintain the performance of each mobile station, BSC and MSC within our GSM system. Next one is the AUC which is called Authentication Center. AUC authenticate the mobile subscriber that want to connect in the network. EIR Equipment Identity Register EIR is a database that contain 
record of all the mobile subscriber that are allowed or banned in the network. If you are banned in the network, then you cannot enter inside the network and you cannot make the call. Next one is the PSTN. PSTN is the public switch telephone network which is connected to the MSC. PSTN originally a network of fixed line analog telephone system now almost entirely digital in its core network and include mobile and other network as well as fixed telephone. The earlier telephones which were the landline placed at our home is nothing but the PSTN. Now we are going to learn BSS, NSS and OSS. BSS is the base station subsystem. BSS handles traffic and signaling between a mobile phone and the network switching subsystem. BSS is having two components. One is BTS and second one is BSC. Next one is NSS, which is Network Switching Subsystem. NSS is a core network of GSM that carried out call and mobility management functions for mobile phone present in the network. NSS has different components it's like VLR, HLR, AUC, EAR. Next one is OSS, which is Operation Support Subsystem. OSS is the functional entity which the network operator monitor and control the system. OMC is the part of OSS. Now we are going to learn the different interfaces. There are mainly three interfaces. One is Air Interface. Second is ABS interface and third one is the A interface. Air interface or also called UM interface. UM interface is the air interface between mobile station and the BTS. It is called UM because it is the mobile analog to the U interface of ISDN. Next one is the ABIS interface. ABIS interface is a BSS internal interface linking the BSC and the BTS. Next one is the A interface. A interface is used to provide communication between BSS and MSC. So in a simple term, A interface is the interface between MS and BTS. ABS interface is the interface between BTS and BSC. A interface is the interface between BSC and MSC. So that's all about GSM architecture. I am Ankit Verma. Thank you.